Welcome to JBods and the Hype the Time Quest Let's Play. This is episode 3, and we are going to continue where we left off last time. Um, as you can see, we're still loading, and um, loading some more. JBods and Billy. Unfortunately, Commander Billy is not here with me today. He is um, elsewhere. He's at his home. Because we don't live at the same place. Anyway. Oh, green herb. Did I forget to pick that up last time? I don't think I did. Uh, anyway. Um, I'm just going to run through real quick. And... There's nobody... I thought... I thought that enemy would still be there. I guess he wasn't. Anyway. Um, basically what I'm doing right now is just returning to where I left off last time. Um, oh, a magic nut. You don't run into these very often. Um, see, I love the castle. This game, this game is totally what turned me on to castles and everything of the like. Magic, swords, armor, everything about medieval lore I just adore. Probably because of this game. Anyway, oh, do I have 100 plastics now? Nope, I still only have 60. Um, because Wellet over there would let me race for 100 plastics, but I don't have that. Here we go, drawbridge. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Um... Oh, those flags are really cool. I remember um, one time in six, not sixth grade, I was six years old when I was playing this game uh, again, and um, I drew something like that, like the strawbridge scene going on, and um, somebody told me it was a monster, and I, I don't understand where they got that from, but they thought my picture was a monster, you know, that's what they thought. Man, that's cool. But, um... Okay. So here we go. Into the kingdom of Taurus. Loading, loading, birds, more birds. And there are more beehives to be found in the town of Taurus. But let's take a look. There's a bird flying through the sky, majestic. The sun is peeking over the castle wall. And the flag is adorned on the walls of well, the outside castle walls, but, you know, the design of the town of Taurus has always been really cool. And look, there's a sundial. I don't know if you noticed one in Goga's Manor, but there is one there. Let's see. I don't remember. I, know, I think there's a beehive up here. Yep. back roads, so to speak. Whoops. Ah. Look what's in that treasure chest. It's a green herb. Oh, it could be mistaken. Ha! <laughs> I was not. 
And that is Jamoose, I'm pretty sure. Let's talk to Jamoose. Welcome to Taurus. I am Jamoose. Jamoose, the town shoemaker. Here, I think only of your feet. <laughs> Perhaps you've met my son in the forest. I'm training him to follow in my footsteps. You get it? Hey, <laughs> well, never mind. You see, uh... I dream of making the best boots ever. But I need plastics, and I need here's sure how the race this. works. On my signal, you must follow the route indicated by the torches. Right. Each time you pass a torch and put it out, others will appear. Over to you, Sir Knight. On your mark, set, go! And you'll see what I'm about to do. Basically, instead of running around making or lighting torches, I have to go around and extinguish them, which... Interesting. And of course, it being a race, there is a time limit, as you can see in the upper left-hand corner with the hourglass. Whoops. Am I going to make it? All right, ten blue potions. Here we go. Thank you. I hope you like the present from Jamoose and son. Okay, no but you don't know what you missed. Now, I, what happened? Oh, I don't remember it being that sudden, but it's been a while since I played this game. Uh, oh, there we go. No, still not. Um. Well, that's a tragedy. You can run the race free. Here's how the race works. Here's how the race works. Over to you, Sir Knight. On your mark. Maybe Set. If I do this go. again, I can. Uh... Get out of the chicken coop. <laughs> And, you know, this would be the perfect time to show you guys what the town of Taurus looks like, but, um, I, I kind of just realized that, um, oops. Anyway, well, I'll get to show you that possibly in a minute. can run the race free of charge if you okay but Come on. Ah. there we go so let's go back here is the blacksmith and even the shields are the emblems of the flag sir knight you're in luck this is where you'll Cameron. find the best military equipment around. As I always say, for military gear, the search stops here. <sighs> right then, I can reinforce Five your armor for short. 25 plastics. Or oh. Aha! Here's I a knight who knows. I know that they're there we go. Full. Let's see, there's someone You're here. You're taking she a risk is. walking about like that Golanda. in foreign armor. The king will certainly make you pay. Unless these wretched bees do. They've got nests everywhere in this town. Someone That's kind of where I first figured out that um that the bees Everyone hates the bees. And that is J. 
your moose? Oh, and if you talk to her again. Oh, I'm fed up with these bees. Funny. If only the someone would never, destroy their nest. Me for some reason. Bolder. I love it when someone comes from far away to admire my buildings. I'm Bolduck, the architect who designed the fortress, and I'm very proud of it. Even if that interfering idiot Tascan did have to poke his nose into my plans. Tascan. And speaking of that ungrateful king, the king of so -so Tascan, Fun fact: be careful um, the go near writer of this game's He's not too last name is spelled T A S C A N. Only a be able to get in there. Line of kings in this game is called Tascan. Hmm. The field uh, of spelled T-A-S-K-A-N. Thank you, Sir Knight. You've just given me so an idea. I don't know if the king was a named after the writer, but courage. it seems likely. Hmm. A field of courage. I wonder what that's going to be. People like you that they have guards like him. As for me, <laughs> he doesn't scare me. He's probably a big softy like all warriors. I have nothing to say about Grand's luck right now. I've always wondered why, if this is a game geared towards children, they've got like got a beer sign the like ale for this inn but you know whatever well now a strange night in Taurus and a cutscene ensues now I've seen everything Bonin bring me some refreshments it'll be worth your while shouting and some for away. me too you see sir knight the town's fortress won't tolerate strangers at the moment. If you go there, you must be very brave. Or oh, mad. It's, uh, it's a good job you're not, not wearing the livery of the Monastery Templars. If you were, all the fortress guards would be after you. Those fools at the Monastery. Fancy wanting to attack Taurus and the fortress and take power. That's as stupid as the King's guards. But wait! You could be a spy from the monastery in disguise! Bonin! Bonin, quick! Call the guards! 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 That's enough! Otherwise I won't serve you, understand? As far as I'm concerned, he's a customer just like anyone else! Come in, handsome knight! Ignore these empty-headed buffoons! Don't listen to what that other idiot says. Taskin the First founded Taurus, and we owe him a lot. The economy's doing well, and since the king raised an army, the tradesmen and the blacksmith are rich. The monastery's just a joke. They're recruiting huge monks to defend themselves. It's absolutely ridiculous. Well, we are in a fine mess. Taskan the First. 
collect symbols of power, jewels, armor, breastplates. He wants to decorate his fortress to show his supremacy. And outside the town, the monasteries demand in the an throne. An integral part of this game the monastery, is um, the, the war that they talk about. And I don't What's know if difference? when I was describing the um, what happens in the cutscene that you all it's didn't see nice in episode one because the recording of women that I have just didn't nice record round here the cutscene. Which is fine, I'm no big deal, but um, living in Taurus. there's a civil war like that some happened. Company on one of your long journeys. No, ah, oh, that's a pity. But um, right. I can't really if go you want much to eat to regain right your strength, you must pay in plastics. You're also entitled to, to a room so for free where you can sleep and refresh yourself. And as you're oh. so, I don't have that. I don't have that money. Used to, not anymore. Probably still don't. Yep, I don't. And I think this is where I'm gonna have to cut it for right now because I'm nearing a 15 minute mark and um, I like to make my episodes at, you know, 15 minutes maximum. So next time on episode four of Hype the Time Quest, we will continue our adventure in getting further into the kingdom and delving more into its secrets. Thank you for watching.